In my last video, I showed you how to create a WX frame and two WX panels that were split horizontally. And in this video, what I'd like to do is show how to create this graph that will eventually be used to display data coming in from the Arduino. So if we look at where we left off, we're going to have this Python GUI. And this Python GUI has these two panels. And this top panel right here is going to be where I put a figure canvas from Matplotlib. So we're going to need to do a couple of things. We're going to need to import the figure canvas from Matplotlib. It's hidden a little bit. So uh, from matplotlib.backends.backend underscore wxagg, we want to import figure canvas w x a g g as figure canvas and from matplotlib dot figure we want to import figure so just uh, making sure these make sure these are spelt right so this one's back ends this is back end underscore w x a g g this is going to be import figure canvas WXAGG, um, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it figure canvas. Um, yeah, so let's take away this background color. Let's take away the button, and let's put our, our figure on. So self.figure is equal to figure. Self.axis is equal to self.figure add sub subplot one 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 and what this is is this is first row first column first graph and let's add the canvas self dot canvas is equal to uh, figure canvas and it's going to take self.figure. And then I think this is good. If we wanted to, we can add, say, an axis. So self.axis.set x label. Um, this might change when I actually figure out what the x is going to be. So call it time right now self.axis.set y label um, a d counts um, and now let's actually create the sine wave that we're going to display so define def draw and x is going to be np dot a range uh, we're going to go from 0 to say 5 in increments of 0.01 and y is just going to be np dot sine uh, np dot pi times x. And then let's actually put this data onto the axis. So self dot axis dot plot x y. So we put the figure on the panel. We have our data. Now we have to tell our data, we actually actually have to call this draw. So if we go to our main class and we go to the bottom, after the splitter and the top panels are there, let's take top.draw. So we take this object right here, top, and it has this draw uh, function. And let's Let's see if we did this right. Nope, this doesn't like something. I don't know if that's just my computer. I did something wrong. Well, it doesn't like something, so Let 
maybe make this a little smaller. Okay. So I, I guess it was just it was too much data. It might have been just having problems. But uh, you, one problem you can see right now is this panel is sort of just doing whatever it wants. And we can resize over it. Well, there's the 400 pixel limit we set. But uh, we want this to just sort of display right here. So in order to do that, we can add a sizer. So sizers are just ways to lay out these widgets. So let's do a sizer. It, I'm going to use a box sizer. And I don't think vertical or horizontal will matter for this because we only really have one element in it. But I'm, I'm not positive on that. Um, so we, the sizer should just, should just let it um, expand right now. So wx.expand to the container that it's in. And then we want to actually set sizer. So right here we're saying it's a box sizer. Here we're adding the sizer to the canvas. And then here we're actually putting the sizer, we're, we're telling the sizer to work. So when we run this now, this should be nicely contained in the top panel. And if we expand it, it should it should stay with the top panel.